Hi, hello and welcome. This is Charulata from Changal Pet St. Paul's. In our previous video, we the classification of accounts. That is the personal and the personal and the impersonal. This is the actual and the impersonal real account nominal account. So, now we have the classification of accounts. Romba, crisp, precise, and the three accounts. Personal account, real account, nominal account. So, this is the examples of the person. Personal na, it is relating to the person. Name is personal account. Varu. Bank is personal account. Varu. Company is personal account. That is what we have to do. If the salary is outstanding, rent prepaid. That is why the salary is outstanding. Outstanding, prepaid. That is why we have to personal account. Varu. This is the salaries, the rent. This is the side of the bank. That is the nominal account. This is the salaries, wages, paid. That is the expenses. So, expenses comes under the nominal account. So, this is the outstanding prepaid. That is the person who is paying. That is the person who is paying. That is the person who is personal account. Real account it relates to the assets. All assets are tangible, intangible. That is furniture, building, that is tangible asset. Intangible which cannot be seen like goodwill, patents, copyright. This is all asset. So it all comes under the real account. That is the nominal account. It relates to all the expenses and losses, incomes and gains. Okay, ba? So in the moon account, it is very clear. Personal account relates to the person. May either it may be a natural or artificial or representative. Representative is the salary is outstanding. Na yaro or person represent pannadu. Abdiyadu. Real account na all assets all me comes under the real account. Nominal account under both incomes and expenses, losses and gains comes under the nominal account. Okay. Na ipo under kira sila accounts kurtrukya. Adha we have to classify into personal, real and nominal. Adha panni tom na. Ungal kundu yedu kundu kujo taro ayro. Okay wa? We'll do that. So we have put the category of classification of our accounts into three categories: personal account, real account, nominal account. Personal account represents the persons. Real account relates to the assets. Nominal account represents the expenses and losses, incomes and gains. Okay, ma? Ippo, idhal question enna na, classify the following accounts in personal, real and nominal. Abdiin kheer thang. So, just number, idh personal la, real la, nominal la, yeh dhina pooru. Adhe mari, idh vandhu personal la, vandhu natural person, artificial person, representative person kudu nii yeh dhu vandhu. Just personal account nii therinjale uulukku pooru maanadhu. Adhe mari, real la vandhu, Assets வந்து tangible asset ஆ intangible asset ஆ னு நம்ம மென்ஷன் பண்ண வேண்டாம் just if you know whether it is an asset அப்படினா it comes under the real account ன்றது தெரிஞ்சிட்டீங்கனா போறோம் அதே மாதிரி nominal account expenses ஆ losses ஆ incomes ஆ gains ஆ இருந்தாலும் நம்ம அது nominal account னு போட வேண்டியதுதான் ஓகேவா சோ இப்ப first one பாத்தீனா bank bank அப்படிங்கிறது வந்து ஒரு என்ன சொல்றது artificial person so it comes under the personal account interest அப்படினா என்ன அது வந்து uh, it comes under the nominal account. Okay, ma? that is the income. That is the nominal account. Le that is the paathina, interest outstanding account. Outstanding is liable, responsible. Who is the person? That is person. So it comes under the personal account. Patents is the goodwill, copyright. That is the urimam. That is the intangible asset. So, this is the asset category. Asset category comes under the real account. That is the loan from Gopal account. This is the pair of the name Gopal. So, it comes under the personal account. Machinery, asset, that is the real account. Commission received in advance. So, in the mother, advance, prepaid, outstanding, that is comes under the personal accounts. Prepaid salaries, that also comes under the personal accounts. Stationary is the asset that comes under the real account. Electricity charges, EB bill, that is the expenses. Expenses are the nominal account. I will give you the answers for this again. Okay? So, hope you are clear with this. 
how we classify them into personal account, real account and nominal account. If you have an example, you can tell us that you are strong and we can go to the journal entries. If you look at the concept of the double entry concept, so the double entry concept is a little recap, then if we go for the journal entries, you will be a master in doing the journal entries. Okay? So, in the dual aspect of transactions, I have made you thorough with accounting equation. This is just a recap. I have made you thorough with that. This is just a recap. I have made you thorough with that. Okay, this is the transactions. First aspect, second aspect. That is the first aspect. Either receiving or receiver. What account effect is going to be done? That is the second aspect. Giving or giver. இன்னும் வந்து account affected so every receiver is a giver and every giver is a receiver அதாவது accounting equation போத்து வருக்கும் asset is equal to capital plus liabilities and the dual aspect இங்கருது 2 aspect to fulfill ஆயிருக்குனோ double entry system ஆயிருக்குனோ அப்படியிருத்து காகதா இந்த dual aspect transactions insist பணிக்கிட்டே இருக்கும் நாங்க okay so இப்போ first வந்து பாத்தியினா commenced business with cash rupees 50,000 commenced நா started business with cash so start பண்ணும் போது receiving or receiver receiving what we are receiving cash என்ன account effect ஆயிருக்கு cash account effect ஆயிருக்கு so இது first aspect okay வா receiving aspect account affected வந்து cash second aspect பார்த்தீங்க நாம் இன்னும் aspect giving or giver யார் குடுக்கிறா இது owner or the proprietor okay why enna effect is enna account effect is capital he is giving the capital to the business so inga receiving cash giver owner okay so cash account and capital account effect okay if next next transaction party now bought goods for cash rupees 5000 so it will a first aspect receiving or receiver account affected park no bought goods அப்படின் goods நமக்கு உள்ள வருது so we are receiving so என்ன நம்ப receive பொண்டும் goods receive பொண்டும் account affected goods account okay வா இது நல்ல இந்த account அப்படியுங்கிர் எடுத்தலதா AC அப்படியுங்கிர்தே நான் சாட்டா எடுதுரும் நம்பு okay வா goods receive ஆகது receivingல goods account இது பாக்கமோது goods account effect ஆயிருக்கு அடுத்தது second aspect giving or giver அப்படியின் cash வெல்ல போகுது okay வா so on the giving aspect ல cash account affected இன்று பார்த்தா cash account okay வா you understood this இது ஏற்குனே உள்கு நான் தரோ பண்ணிருக்க accounting equation ல just ஒரு recap தாகதான் இது பண்ணிரும் இது தெரிந்துது கப்பிரும் we have to go for the accounting rules okay வா I hope you are thorough with this dual aspect of transactions நான் இப்பா அடுத்தது போப் போருது வந்து rules of debit and credit which is a very very basic for you to become a master in journals. Okay? So, அது அடுத்த concept ரும்ப attentive பாருங்க, listen பண்ணுங்க, அது copy down பணிக்கும் உங்கள் note நான் எடுதிக்கும் போது, rules of debit and credit. Okay? So, this is the golden rules of debit and credit. Okay? இது வந்து நான் ஏற்கணிமே உங்களுக்கு வந்து classification of accounts simplify பண்ணி, மூன் account பிரிச்சு குட்தையில்லியா, அது left sideல எடுதிக்கும் personal account, real account, nominal account. Personal represents the names of the person or the bank or the company. Real account na assets. Nominal account na expenses and losses, incomes and gains. இது நமக்கு தெரியும். Okay. இது எதை debit பண்ணும் எதை credit பண்ணும் Personal account ले debit the receiver, credit the giver. இங்க சொல்லும் போதே இப்படிதான் சொல்லும் இந்த rules நம்ப சொல்லும் போது golden rules personal account debit the receiver credit the giver என்ன person அனால receiver giver அப்படியின் சொல்லும் அடுத்தது real account real account நான் asset asset நான் ஒரு thing அது ஒரு பொருல் இல்லியா பொருல் நம்ப எப்படி சொல்லும் debit what comes in credit what goes out என்னல asset உள்ள வருதோ அது debit பண்ணு என்னல asset வெளியில போதோ அது credit பண்ணு okay வா அடுத்தது nominal account இருக்கனுமே சொல்லியாச்சு எல்லா expenses losses incomes and gains இது எதை debit பண்ணும் expenses or losses debit பண்ணு incomes and gains ஐர்து நான் அது credit பண்ணு okay வா gain அங்கருது profit income அங்கருது வருமானும் okay revenue okay expenses and losses நான் என்னன் தெரியும் உள்ளுக்கு okay so this is the golden rules of debit and credit 
once again i'll tell you how to read this golden rules personal account debit the receiver credit the giver real account debit what comes in credit what goes out nominal account debit all expenses and losses credit all incomes and gains kindly be thorough with this golden rules in order to move to the journal entries right hope you understood this i'll meet you in the next class with some examples okay